Hello You, you can now get yourself a Hello You mug and lots of other cool swag at the Geekism official store. Look good and support the channel at the same time. You'll find the link in the description. Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Foundation. This is an early access title uh, that the developers have very kindly sent me a copy over to have a look at. Another week, another city builder, but this one does have a couple of really nice features that we're going to get into over the next couple of videos. If you like the look of this and um, you want to let me know, please hit that like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. So, uh, it's all uh, a lot of this is procedurally generated. I don't know whether the map is, because this looks like the map I tried a moment ago when I was testing things out. Uh, but a lot of it is procedurally generated, and also there's a really cool sort of like spline-based building system when it comes to some of the larger buildings like the church and the manor house and things like that so uh, lots of cool stuff to give uh, to give a look at first things first we have to build our village center and i mean it's it seems ridiculous but we may as well put it in the center of our village we've chosen this hex again and we can buy more as we go but for now at least oh my word there we go and these are our little guys and girls so first of all we need some wood that's kind of the major one really let's get up to where there's um, a good chunk of wood somewhere we'll build it a little out of the way uh, oops Oh, button. Sorry, it's control. I think it's rotate. Yes, okay. So, uh, as you see, it kind of fits into the uh, landscape quite well. Does what it needs to do. So now what we can do is turn a couple of these into builders. He'll go and uh, he'll go and have a little build there. It takes his time, but he gets there. Cuts a few trees down to get to it. Unfortunately, but once he's done what he needs to do, he'll take stuff over and go for it. And then. Uh, as soon as that's built, there we go, that's our woodcutter's camp. So now we can uh, click a couple of guys there. George and Mary are going to go and become our woodcutters. Uh, now, but we need to pick a zone for them to woodcut. Okay, so we get to extraction here. Uh, I warn you now, this makes the worst noise. Ready? Ugh. Uh, also, we want that stone to be in the extraction zone, and we also want an extraction zone for these uh, berries as well. So we'll click there. Okay, good. Uh, talking of stone, let's get a stone cutter camp set up. Um, I love this. I've seen this in a few games now. I did it in Ostriv and uh, a few others. I love this idea that um, uh, the paths are procedural as well. So. Depending on where they walk, the, the paths turn up. I think that's great. So the stone camp will go pretty quick, I reckon. Richard is assigned to it. He's doing a fantastic job. don't really know what this one here is. Tool. Five out of zero out of five tools. Oh, it is actually just something he takes over there. Okay. And it's done. So let's do Gunther and Henry. You folks are going to be our stone cutters. Um, who keeps the metric system down? There we go. So we've got wood and we've got a bit of stone. How many? We've got ten tools. I have no idea what I'm meant to do with those. Uh, gathering camp is next, and this is going to be the uh, the base point for us collecting uh, lovely mushrooms. Uh, there's berries as well. I think didn't manage to see any berries uh, on the map though. So for now, at least, we're going to start off with uh, mushrooms. Okay, we'll get that set up. It's pretty simple. Let's just use his basic logs. And then that'll get our gatherers going. There we go. And then we'll assign a couple of gatherers, Philippe and Robin. Okay, so we have a guy who's a builder and then young um, young Dominique here. She has nothing to do. But we're going to build a well. I'd really like to build the well right here in the middle. So I'm hopefully going to do it and hope it doesn't really get in the way of all the stuff all right so we'll put you down and they i'm assuming they move the stuff once we've got warehouses available and things like that so let's have a well go down well 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 and then the last thing i think we have to set up is a way for them actually to purchase berries there's a, there's a big finance system involved here so they're going to be um they're going to be buying berries as opposed to just sort of collecting them or mushrooms in this case uh, as opposed to just collecting them. there we have we have a lovely well now so let's just slow it down a bit because they're all doing a weird little shimmy shake thing um Market gathering. There we go. Market sells gathered food to villagers. All right. So we're going to place this down, and what we'll do then is we'll make the market sit around the uh, the well. That sounds like a decent uh, decent suggestion to me. 
Okay, he's going to go and get the stuff he needs. What does this actually require to build? Just wood. Okay, great. That should go up pretty quick. Um, so we've now got... Yeah, 10 in the centre. I just don't understand what that tool number is. It's funky. But it's doing its job, so that's fine. So, come on then. Market store, let's get it open. There we go, market gathering. So now what we'll do is we'll, ass we'll assign Dominique to there. And... She'll go and get berries from the gathering hut. And she'll bring them to the market to sell. And then these guys will come and get it. So I think... Um, yeah, there we go. Villagers have reached a new status. Surf. So I, I think that's these guys here. We have eight, oh, four newcomers, four serfs. Okay. So that gives us a few more buildings. Now I think what we need to do now is provide them with... Um, with... Uh, uh, housing. A housing area so they build their houses themselves so we just we all we have to do is pick an area for them so let's we'll say this area here can be housing um so i'm pretty sure oh that noise that really needs a a, a jiggle that does uh, actually no i don't want it to be that close to the well sorry looks like it's gonna be though doesn't it okay let's come off here can we can we house details? No, sorry. You're just a bit too close to the well. Um, but hopefully... Let's have a look. Yeah, everything else should be alright. Let's just um, paint this up a little, just so it doesn't cause any issues. Personally, that's uh, plenty of space to start off with, I think. And they'll come and build their own houses there. Um, and that's kind of the, the base of the game, really, is let, letting them build up and... Uh, how far have we gone out this way? Let's just take the edge off that a little. Only because we need to build a um, a farm. A sheep farm, so to speak. Produces wool. Okay. Um, actually, no. I'll tell you what the next one we're going to do is. the. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where's the one that turns... Yeah, sawmill. There we go. Um, so we want a sawmill, and we want this is going to turn wood into uh, actual log uh, planks because they're quite important. A lot of the bigger buildings need them. So we'll put you here on this path. There we go. Path that goes up to the the uh, the log logging area there. Our little builder guy will head over pretty quickly. Do what he needs to do, I hope. Or is he too busy building houses? Kind of too busy building houses. Well, you know what? We'll let him off. He's got a mohawk, so he's looking pretty cool. Let's have a look at you, buddy. Where are you going? Oh, my words. The uh, field of view is nice, but a little funky. Okay, cool. Oh, I love that, though. I love a nice depth of field. He's really busy building houses, isn't he? Okay, we're going to pause here for a sec while he, uh, while he builds up them houses. Okay, uh, that's built. So we're now getting some... Uh, planks. There's eight wood there, and they're getting shifted. Oh, does one wood make two planks? That's pretty sweet if it does. Uh, Willib Willibald and Julian came here as well. Oh yeah, it does. That's really good. Okay, cool. So let's um, let's get a warehouse up and running next because I feel like that's a, a good a good kind of standard uh, to carry on from is a is a warehouse so we can actually get some stuff stored properly. Um, where for it to go though is another question. I feel like that'd look pretty sweet with the edge of it on the on the edge of the town and the town's sort of square that is. Um, okay, let's put it like that. I don't know whether or not just stuff gets dumped in the middle there, but we'll see. We have a couple of builders, so they should be able to get started on that pretty swiftly. There we go. He's took a took a tree down to do it. Okay. And we have all these little houses as well. Look how cute. Uh, now, I'm assuming two people are in each of these. Mary and Henry, yeah. Because uh, we've got 12 serfs, whatever they're called. And uh, Robin and Dominique there. And uh, George and Reinhardt. That's incredibly uh, forward thinking. Uh, okay, so there they are. They're all chilling out there. Hopefully this gets set up. We get our last few bits from the town centre gets shifted across. So our well is back to being just a well. And not just a, a weird storage unit like it is at the moment. This guy's doing a fantastic job. Claude, you don't have any cloth. Well, we're working on it, Claude, okay? You need to go and get yourself a few more planks from over here. 
which he's got. Cloth, I think, is probably what we're going to get sorted in the next episode, because it looks like um, we need to set up like sheep farms and stuff. And uh, So we've got closed market. It doesn't really tell you much about it. Weaver's Hut produces uh, cloth in exchange for wool. Um, closed market, I assume, sells the, those t-shirts. But then we need to get wool. We need to wool. We need sheep farm. Okay, so that's going to be probably what we do. Actually, no. We, we, this video is only about 10 minutes long so far. We'll do it now. So, uh, sheep farm. Okay. Let's get you up here. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to do that. Sheep farm. Um, so we'll build you over the end here. And we'll have the sheep, hopefully. I don't know if you can pick where the sheep go or not. But that's going to be the plan. Uh, or is it? Or do we have the? Do we go here and have the weaver's farm next to it? Let's go here. Let's have it. The sheep farm there, and the weaver hut. Oh my god, the weaver hut's massive. Um, okay, let's have you next to it, like that, and then you will both, in turn, fill. The uh, the clothes market. It's telling me we can't build that. What do we not have? Oh, we don't have the gold. Okay. Well, I assume we earn gold. Do we earn rent off these? Um. Doesn't look like we earn rent off those. What about? Is it, is, are we just making money from mushrooms at the moment? Dominique, you're doing a great job. You the whole the whole city is relying on your mushroom. Capability. Do we have log cutters still going out and doing stuff? Yeah, they, yeah, they are. That's fine. As long as they're clearing the area, right? That's good. Okay, so it looks like our, our sheep setup is heading in a positive direction. We should have another. Oh, I was just about to say we should have another house going up. Uh, you're going to be a sh shepherd. Oh, we'll wait. We'll wait till it's open and then and then assign you from there. I think. Okay, warehouse is done. So can we move stuff? Transport resources. Oh yeah, do that. Be a resourcer. Be a transport. Sorry. No, no, you don't have a house yet, though, do you, Gene? So let's get. We'll sort your house out, and then hopefully you'll do stuff. I would love to move that over to here because so far you're doing nothing. Oh no, we're not. We're accepting. We're accepting everything. Oh, somebody has to be here. Okay, so let's not make you a transporter. Let's instead make you work there. Okay. And now you're doing stuff. There you go. You are a transporter. You just uh, you just needed me to point you in the right direction, didn't you, Jean? Uh, or Jean? It could be Jean. I don't know. Um, but we'll go for Jean. Okay, Jean, you're doing a great job. Stuff is coming up here. How are we getting on? Uh, quite a few supplies needed here. Tools. Waiting on a builder. Tool. I'm not sure how we make tools. Um, farm, windmill, bakery, market, road sign. We need citizens. So do you need tools as well? You need tools. You have 10 out of 10 tools. So what does that mean then? Is there a help thing somewhere? Um, oops. Oh, no. We went through all that. It's saying there that you've got 10 out of 10 tools. Maybe that's like an energy thing that runs out. Let's turn that off for now. It looks better without it, doesn't it? Um, we'll turn that off. It definitely looks better without that. Villager. Ah, oh, there's the villager list. Look. So Harry has no job. Is that? Are you Harry down here, buddy? You were down here, Harry. I'm. You're. You were going to be my. You were going to be my. Uh, you were going to be my uh, thingy shepherd. We have no tools. So what are tools then? How do we get tools? Um, sawmill. Makes pl uh, planks. Warehouse just sticks stuff up. Sheep makes wool. Wool make it's, we've turned clothes into wool. Uh, 
wooden gate. Maybe, maybe new, maybe new people bring tools with them. They they come from all the way down here. Look, uh, look at them, bless them. They do a nice little run. It's just said that two more have joined, which means they, at some point, start to follow this path to get to us. So look, see if we can find them on the way. Whoops. Yeah, here they are. Look. So, just out of interest, I can't actually click you yet. Oh, it's auto saving. So I wonder if, when you guys join us, you have tools. Let's find out. Um, no. Doesn't look like it. So where do tools come from then? Because we just cannot build the sheep farm without it, even if we prioritise it. Answers on a postcard, please. If you have played this game, or if you've watched somebody else play it, for instance, and they got tools from somewhere, find out where the hell they got them from. I have absolutely no idea at all. Um, building house complete. That didn't make any tools. Okay. Um, budget. Anything there about tools? No. Trade. What about trade? No, not territory. Trade. Can we buy them? Selling there. Selling tools for 10 gold. All right, well, let's open it up with planks. Yeah, okay. Trading resources. Uh, tools. Buy. Um, 10. Okay. So, we'll buy 10 tools. And then hopefully, in episode number 2, we'll have tools to make some sheeps. That's going to be the plan anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can uh, pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.